Hi, and welcome back. Uh, my name is Stuart, and I do tutorials for Photoshop and in Lightroom. Today, we are looking at how to create puddles. So I did a tutorial not so long ago, how to create a realistic um, reflection in a window. And I added some uh, rain drops on the window, but the image that I was using was a nice sunny day. So I created uh, some sort of like rain uh, on the street. It uh, wasn't great, I wasn't happy with it. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to rectify that and show you how to create uh, water reflections on or puddles uh, in the street. Before I carry on, um, just like to say, uh, please subscribe to this channel. It all helps uh, so other people can get to see this. Um, also leave a comment down below. Also uh, hit that notification bell uh, to be reminded when the next uh, video is up. Thank you and let's create some puddles. So uh, the first thing to do is to find a street like this. Um, okay, so as you see here, the sky is washed out. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, dramatic um, sky to the, this uh, image. So the first thing we need to do is to go into edit, replace sky, And I kind of like like this one gives a little bit of this more blue T color temperature, a little bit more color temperature too. I think uh, I'm quite happy with that color adjustment. I'm quite happy. Right, so duplicate layer, new layer. We're just gonna leave that new layer. And just go click OK. Just choose any sky that you want. If you feel like it needs it. And so we're just going to go here and just go and flatten the image. And then we can go back at filter and add a little bit more to our color, to our image. And we can go in. Into the highlights, into the shadows, bring those down a bit, add a little bit more text to our image, and a bit more clarity. Not too much. Uh, do we need to dehaze? Just bring them a little bit, a bit darker. So they will, the, uh, the stones will, in the puddles will come out a lot more. And then click OK. Okay, that looks quite okay. So now what we need to do is just click off that. I uh, go and add a layer. Go up to our filters and into the vanishing point. Right, from there, we need to m make our lines. So as long as it's in the blue, we're okay. Once it goes into red, you need to adjust or into the yellows. Once you're into the blue, you can add your map. Okay, so that's okay. That's how we like it. So just click. Now we go into our puddle map. I'll show you in a minute uh, where we can get that. I'll go straight there. Okay, so this is where I got my. Um, puddle map from, from this company here, just open it up and you have all the, some of these you have to pay for, but uh, some of them are free, I think these ones are free, yeah, this one is free, you just click on that and then download, I've already downloaded it onto this. Like I said, some of them are free, uh, but some of them you do have to pay for. You also got dirt textures, uh, road, other surfaces and everything. So that's the uh, site you want to go to. Okay. So once you've done that, download it, 
put it into your folder and then open it up and command A to select it. And then uh, command C to copy. Go back to your image that you're using. Go up to filter, the vanishing point, and then go command copy or paste. This takes a little bit of time. And you put in your puddle map, and then go command V again. Going in again, and the last one. One more. There you go, and hit the OK. So next up, we what we want to do now? Go to solid color. OK, and bring that down underneath our puddle map. And go back up to the layer. And then go to curves. So what this is going to do is bring this down to here. So whatever's white will be revealed, and whatever's black will be hidden. And then go click on that and then highlight these two, these three, and group them and call this map. Now what we want to do is just go into channels with command and hold your mouse over the RGB and click on that. And I'll select it all. And then from there, just click there to create an alpha channel. Go back into your layers and then deselect. Close that off. Next thing you need to do is to make a copy of your front layer. Highlight it. And with the lasso tool, cut out the section. There you go, that's that. And make a copy. Right. So the next thing we want to do here. We want to revert this, but we don't want it with the mask. So we just, with the two links together, click on that. Only highlight your image and not the mask. And go over to Edit, Freeform, Flip, Vertical. Once you've done that, and you just line up your image. And then click on it and then go to Command G to make a group. And then go over to your section and reload the alpha channel, like so, and then go over and hit make a mask. So there you have your reflection in the water. So <clears throat> you have all your, so it looks like puddles going along. So what we need to do now, so we can play around we can go with our curves. Make it a little bit darker. 
but we only want it to affect this area and not the whole thing. So we just go to our clipping art and we just play around. With our curves. Do you end up with something that you like? You should have done that. Right, as you can see, it's uh, a very crisp. The reflection is in our puddles. If you ever had a look at uh, a puddle and saw your reflection, and that is slightly wavy, not smooth. So we're going to do here, we're going to go filter, go to blur gallery, uh, path blur. And we just turn that back a bit. So that's about right. If you're happy with it, click OK. And then you just go in and just do some fine bit of editing. Okay, scale. fine let's go to get a gradient map you just switch that off and just highlight the not the um, mask bit but the layer and we're just going to pick some colors so just go pick this color here Pick a color. Okay, about that for that side. And for this side, I'm just going to pick. There you go. Over there. So if you need to split it or anything, you can do by uh, holding down the Alt and click on it, and that will split colors. Same on this side as well. Split it. Click OK. If you need to do any more adjusting, you can. Okay, quite happy with that. Okay, then go down here, go to overlay, we can go to uh, soft light. Or hard light. We go to the soft light. And we also need to then create a clipping mask. So it just fix this at one and not the whole image. And uh, yep, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So if you like this uh, video, please uh, subscribe um, also leave a comment down below please uh, also uh, hit that notification bell that will remind you when my next video will be coming up um, again thank you very much for watching I hope that you did enjoy this little short little uh, tutorial uh, was gonna be short but I think I ended up a bit longer than I expected um, so yes uh, Thank you. Um, keep on creating out there. Uh, until the next time, I'll say goodbye and um, I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Looking pretty good, I must say so. Pleased with myself? I hope you are. Two thumbs up, just do it.
goodbye.